Hello everybody, Sift here again with another potato run and today we're gonna be doing the much requested day 25,000 of asking for Sift to get the coupon run. This is the coupon run, you're seeing it right now. Let's play with Entrepreneur, which also makes sense, you know, the guy that finds everything cheap and sells high, uh, although of course that is not really a thing and uh, I mean at least not with this guy and not only am I going to do the coupon run, I'm gonna do you one better. I'm gonna also do the infinite money run, which uh, I'm gonna just start with that right away. And no, no, we're gonna just start with uh, survivability right away. So I'm gonna say let's begin with a good old panda. So we get some max life and luck. And then we're gonna rotate over to the said coupon run that everyone wants to see. Can I get... Uh, let's get armor, I would say. And here I'm gonna say harvesting because money gain. Nah, let's get more armor. And uh, let's get attack speed. We're gonna go with thief's dagger. In general, I'm gonna go with a dagger build and a knife build. Because why not? Let's also get this to get more money. First coupon just found. This guy in general finds coupons in the shop anyway. So that's also really good. And uh, should I go with also lightning shifts? I'm thinking about, uh, you know what, let's go also lightning shifts. Let's go with triplet of swords. The, the master dagger assassin. So we've got a knife, we've got a dagger and a lightning shift. We're gonna just have all the sword types. As a look how we look like. This is, this is what a guy looks like that has had money be his main driving force for the last 50,000 years. Now, as I just said, there is a little, not a glitch, I think there is a mechanic that we can have used. I'm not exactly sure if that is a thing, by the way. I have an idea. And if that idea is gonna pan out or not, it is to be seen. Let's hope, first of all, that we're gonna survive here because we are already low life. I have a plan on the infinite money. And um, yeah, as I said, the main issue right now is surviving itself. I could pick up the Etsy Scouch to heal. I could also pick up Torture to heal for the rest of the game and not really care about it otherwise. Could I pick up Torture? Hmm... I pick up torture, I won't care about healing in any other way. Now yeah, let's go torture. Let's go with uh, healing right away and so we don't care about it. Uh, we're gonna go with, as I said, lightning shiv and thief's dagger. Uh, I'm gonna go three knives, three lightning shivs. That's my idea. And coupons. The reason why I'm not chasing coupons down right now uh, yet is because, uh, as I said, the... Um, yeah, as I said, the coo this guy finds coupons in the shop anyway. Let's buy this because why not? My damage is becoming lower and lower, but we get luck. And another coupon, very nice, and another lightning shiv. And now I'm just waiting for a knife so I can combine two of these daggers. And uh, one more coupon and a chopper, which is blade, which you don't care about. Let's see how this is gonna go. Now, uh, I'm still playing at only 10, uh, only 10 times more opponents. We will increase that to 3 times more opponents, but I just need to make sure that the run is a go before I do that. And um, actually, I think the run is a go anyway, because I just got the um, survivability, right? Yeah, we just got survivability, so the run is a go. Let's go with 3D times more opponents. There is no reason to not risk anything here. Of course, we cannot heal any other way other than specifically the torture thing. But even that is pretty decent. Like, 3 health per second is ah, decent-ish. Of course, we will also need a bunch of attack speed through Retromation Sweetie. But now I will start, you know, maybe showcasing how you can generate infinite money before I do the coupon run. Because I don't know why everybody's saying the coupon run while there is an infinite money trick. It's a recycling machine. I can buy two recycling machines. And the moment I get my third and fourth... Oh, that was useless. That was completely useless. Don't do what I do. <laughs> uh, let's continue trying to find my weapons first. And then we're gonna rotate. Let's go 3 mil damage against quick chance. I don't want the other ones here. Screwdriver, not, not, not really. HP region, all, all of all of the healing related things are completely and naturally useless to us. This is really good for us. Crit chance is also good for us. I don't want the screwdriver. Chopper, harvesting, no, no, and again, no. Lumberjack shirt, yes. Let's get armor against movement speed. Also pretty decent. Lightning shiv is here. Let's come, uh, actually, you know what? Let's combine these and buy the lightning shiv. I, don't, I won't have three lightning shivs, but I might combine them later, right? I don't want any of these. Another lightning shift. Very nice. Now I can combine these into purple one. Melee damage and crit chance. Definite yes. Uh, uh, by the way, I have been asking if people actually watch all these or if you guys skip through the buying phase. And uh, most of you guys have said that they skip through the buying phase, which is fair enough. Uh, but yeah, I mean, today is mostly the buying phase thing. I was thinking, I, I was not really... I'm not really that crazy about this whole coupon thing that everybody's crazy about. Uh, of course, of course, of course, it is always awesome to have the shop cost zero. It is always awesome to have, you know, your fun with anything that you find fun. Like infinite money, as I said, which is what we're gonna do today. The infinite money trick. And also the shopping costing zero. Like, those are the tricks we're gonna showcase. If we're gonna survive, because this is lagging so much that uh, I don't see us actually surviving. You know what? Honestly, it starts feeling like if I don't play with Retromation hoodies just slash through everything 
It just straight up doesn't work. So next wave, yeah, we're gonna just buy a bunch of retromation sweeties here because this is not a thing. Like uh, this is literally unplayable if I don't have enough attack speed to get through opponents because DPS wise we're okay. Attack speed wise is the main issue. Like the fact that I can't really attack opponents in a timely manner is what's lagging everything. If we're gonna even survive because I have eight life right now, uh, 11, eight, 11. We're gonna get it here a bit more. I have one second to survive and we survived. And now I'm gonna go for retromation sweetie. We need the attack speed. We need to be able to just slash through everything in existence because this is this is just not a thing. We can't play like this. I'm sorry that, you know, we just realized that for the rest of our lives we're always gonna be going with a uh, retromission sweetie. But it is what it is. If if we need to be powerful, then powerful we shall be. Let's reroll. Now let's reroll. Let's get another lightning shiv. I guess we're gonna combine. We're gonna combine these. Now we're gonna see what this one's gonna look like at the end. Thief stagger. Combine whatever. I can't combine anything. Ah, oh, very nice. Uh, yeah, I guess we're gonna sell. We're gonna sell the lightning shiv as thief stagger is the thing we just combined. Let's continue metal detectors. Just buying a bunch of things. Ghost shivs. Not really. Yep, lightning shivs and a knife in the leather lightning shiv. Now we're gonna combine two of them and get another one. And uh, yeah, let's go. At this point, we do have it almost infinite attack speed. 510 is crazy attack speed. So um, yeah, now theoretically, we should be able to handle everything, right? Theoretically, we should be fast enough to get rid of everything with the money. Uh, Saved, where is the infinite money glitch? It's coming up. It's coming up. We're gonna, we're gonna just fix our attack speed a bit more. And then I'm gonna showcase what the infinite money glitch looks like. I mean, it's not a glitch. I'm saying a glitch, but it's not really a glitch. Next thing I'm gonna get is my own... Uh, what is it called? My own relic, of course. So we can pick up the... Pretty much everything. The money on the ground without needing to actually chase it down. Look how much money we have in the reserves, by the way. Yeah, the reserve... That, that's what's happening when you don't have the, the sift relic with you. <laughs> you just straight up don't uh, gather everything up and then you increase that amount even more. Let's go for the sift relic. So we can pick everything up. That's done. And now we're gonna go with a couple more retromission. Boom, boom, boom. And now we're gonna go with the infinite money glitch. Not glitch once again. I don't know why I'm saying glitch. Uh, where is it? Here we go. Boom, 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 boom. That's already infinite money. And you know what? Let's actually buy one more. And then after this round, we're gonna start investing everything into... Um, yeah, the thing that everybody wants to see. Which is more specifically... <laughs> more specifically... Uh, let's go three armor. I could have gone with six range damage there. Five luck. Not really. Seven crit chance. Might as well. Whatever. I'm gonna easily stack these. Amsterdam dodge its attack speed. And uh, yeah, I mean, the time has come. Look at this. No. Wait, what? I have failed completely. Wait, is that a thing? Well, that's why nobody's suggesting it, because it's not a thing. <laughs> Another lightning shiv is here. Let's uh, combine these by the shiv. Wait, how much does the shiv cost? Eight to sell back. So you cannot oversell something. Well, that's disappointing. It is what it is, though. <laughs> it is what it is. So my plan, which has completely and utterly failed, was... Um, and the fact that you can sell things for more than what they cost, like that was pretty much the plan. But uh, as I said, it, it completely failed. <laughs> the idea was uh, to buy something that costs an amount and then be able to sell it back for more than that amount. But uh, yeah, it failed. <laughs> I have failed you. That's, uh, by the way, I can at least you know buy and sell items without even thinking about if it's a good idea or not. Because the moment I sell it, it's just, look at this, I just bought this for six, I buy it back for six. Uh, there was a bunny there which I could have easily gotten. But honestly, I don't know what exactly I'm supposed to even buy. I will most likely start skipping the buying phase completely. I don't think there is anything here in the shop that even is remotely important for us. Uh, other than, you know, anything that gives you stats. But stats are also pretty much unimportant. The only thing we need here, we can get some crowns. Uh, the only thing we actually need is uh, damage. I don't know. I could take this. We're going to lose a bunch of life. Not really. Uh, not really taking it is what I meant to say. Uh, let's combine, yeah, these. And buy another one, another Thief's Dagger. Slowly building up the build. Let's also buy this. Uh, I don't know why I decided to go with a bunch of, you know, knives. And uh, now we just are missing purple knives. So there is no reason for us to even look around for anything else. And this guy doesn't even have a good shop. Like, this guy's shop is really bad. <laughs> one of the worst shops I've ever seen. He's just getting the weapons and then he's just getting money-related things. So, he has very, very, very bad weighted items, in comparison to the rest at least. So, I definitely have just decided to not care about the shop at all. Like, we don't need to care about this guy's shops. So, everything is going to be invested into what we're gonna get from those uh, level ups. 
uh, not level ups, uh, boxes, I guess. The refining the boxes is what this run is going to be about. Can I find a purple weapon, please? Because I'm still at three purples that are combinable and I can't really do anything about them. Let's buy more bunnies. Reset the reroll counter. Our bunny, reset the reroll counter. And our bunny, let's reset. And our bunny. <laughs> What's even happening? Plasmos and our bunny. Wow, we're getting so many bunnies today. Well, that was the chain reaction of bunnies. Gone. And our bunny. I'm kidding. We continue with it. Another one. And uh, maybe get speed for minus range. Because why not? I'm just getting a bunch of metal detectors and bunnies. That's pretty much the build. And after that, we're gonna... Now, now, now I think now is the chance to start investing into all of those. By the way, what's my range? My range is 14. Wait, no. My range is uh, 220. So we have more range than we used to have. Um, yeah, now I think is the time to start investing into the... The what are they called? <laughs> Now's the time to invest into those coupons that everybody wants. I can also just buy five piggy banks and get rid of the downside that this guy is supposed to have, which is, you know, uh, the fact that you lose all the money at the end. Like, uh, nothing really matters. I might as well create the perfect entrepreneur and then just buy nothing because the actual perfect entrepreneur never buys everything. So I guess, no, that's wrong. The perfect entrepreneur invests your money into more money generating machines, I would say. But the thing is that uh, money is useless. So, uh, in this game. So, it, with this mod, <laughs> let me, I'm, I'm rephrasing again. So, we're gonna buy one, two, three, four, five. So, he has no downside anymore. We're gonna buy a couple more of these recycling machines in case it works. We're gonna buy just two padding. So, now we have a bunch of life. And now everything else is going to go into coupons. Like everybody has asked for. Like everything just costs zero. That is the thing that people want to see. I, I mean, people want to see. I, I'm saying that as if you don't have an opinion or anything. I don't mean that. I mean that I have read a bunch of comments saying that exact thing. That um, the coupon run. The coupon run. And this is the coupon run. Now things cost 17 metal detectors. I just want to get my weapons done. And after that, I don't think I will ever invest into... Here we go. Boom. One more weapon down. A bunch of more to go. <laughs> By the way, I have to say, definitely, definitely a mistake of picking up torture. It doesn't really matter, though. I don't think it actually factually matters. And we got my second weapon done. So I'm only missing one weapon right now. And after that, I don't think we're done. We're done. I don't think we need to invest into anything else. I'm just going to now quickly go ahead and buy the... Um, the what are they called? <laughs> These things, the metal detectors, which we are at 19. So I just need one more metal detector and that's it. I don't really need anything else. We can just go and throw the rest of this run. Just uh, go around picking up golden chests, hoping that we're going to amass money and uh, we're going to see what we're going to go with it. As I said, we no longer have a downside at all because we have invested into piggy banks and piggy banks literally contract this guy's passive. So it doesn't even matter what opponents do. Of course, we don't have really healing. We don't have that much healing. If anything, we don't have healing at all. And as you can see, we also don't have damage at all because things survive. So maybe it's the very first time ever that uh, I'm not one-shotting literally everything, which is fun. It's fun. It's fun. We're gonna go with coupons today again, although I think I want to invest into a couple of information so we just increase my attack speed a lot more. And uh, after that, I don't think there is that much else to do. Just get damaged, get those coupons, see what it looks like so that the, the whole shop costs zero. Uh, I'm pretty sure selling my weapons doesn't give me a bunch of money, so I was wrong about that part. Let's go with a couple of hoodies. I think we're okay here with the hoodies. I don't really need more. And uh, I mean, I, I got 4,000 attack speed anyway. That's the power of the hoodies. You get 10 of them, you're busted. Uh, you get 20. Well, you're completely and utterly busted. Uh, and off into the... These we go. Off into the coupons. Whoop, 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 whoop. Now we're gonna do it like, um, you know, the bigger YouTubers do. So we become super famous. Give me a second. I'm, I'm setting up my... Uh, I'm setting up my excitement. Ooh. Wow, the shop costs one, everything costs one, this is crazy, man. Everything costs literally one, I thought it was gonna cost zero, but it actually costed one. Although I already knew that it costed one because I have been told about this. And wow, we found an old blade elemental weapon, what is this crazy thunder sword that we could pick up? It's a blade elemental, it's not precise. It's disappointing, we're not gonna pick something that's not precise. He said, while actually buying the weapon, I I'm actually serious, let's throw away... Hmm, let's throw away... Th Thief's Dagger. This is, I think, my weakest weapon, right? Most likely. What's my elemental damage at? Mine's four. I guess Lightning Shift is the weakest one. Let's buy that crazy thing. By the way, these things sell for one. So that plan completely backfired and failed completely, completely. 
And uh, let's just continue until I find another one of those crazy elemental swords, uh, just for the meme of it. I could also go with uh, screwdrivers and circular saws. But honestly, we are a rich guy, so we go with a sniper gun. I'm gonna go with a little bit of... This does one damage. Forget it. We're not gonna go with that. Wait a minute. Why does this do one damage? Oh, because I have minus uh, 690 range. Yep. That, that, so the sniper is not a go. Let's uh, just go through these a bit faster if I can pick up my beloved Thunder Sword number two. And I would also really much enjoy getting a couple of... What am I a sword. A sword. Let's go with also a sword. I'm gonna say we throw away Thief's Dagger for the sword and then i'm just missing one more weapon and then i pretty much have a plethora of random weapons an assortment of random weapons that maybe maybe or maybe not will help us i'm killing my elemental damage off this thing and <laughs> it now does one elemental damage well that thing is done let's continue just rolling through here maybe finding some things i uh, definitely am finding those uh, bunnies mm, explosive plank a bunch of damage i could go for a plank uh, not really. Entrepreneur doesn't get a plank. That is not what entrepreneurs are after. A tractor, though, could be really entrepreneur-y. Let's, uh, let's definitely buy a bunch of bowler hats, because who would you be if you don't have your fedora? Right? And our sword, that's the blue version, very much like. Very like. Potato thrower! Nope, I only want melee weapons. Is there any other melee weapon out there that could possibly give us enough power uh, power Fist, here we go. I said Power and Power Fist appeared. So that's the last melee weapon we're gonna go for. Because why not? Why not just invest Flaming Knuckles? Uh, now I, I do want my Triple Daggers. I do enjoy this as an idea. Although... Nah, let's continue. I will do a Puncher Run to do tomorrow. So if you tune in tomorrow, the idea was to go with uh, also, you know, the classic 12 days of requesting XYZ thing. And one of those XYZ things is the punching build. So, ah, this really doesn't fit. The power fist really does not fit. I think I should just go with swords if I can. Or, uh, what else would fit, to be honest? You know what? The shivs fit. I just saw a shiv previously and that made me think about it. Or maybe scissors. By the way, I decide on something and then I literally skip it. Maybe shiv. Maybe shiv, most likely. Um, I have so much money. Scissors. Uh, I think Scissors is a play because Scissors is precise. I'm gonna go with Scissors. Uh, I do know I skipped a bunch of them. We're gonna find another one now and then I'm gonna pick it up and then we're gonna actually go with Scissors. We're gonna be a super precise uh, character here with a bunch of things. By the way, all these bowler hats have completely killed out my crit chance, which is a bit irrelevant to me, but just saying. And um, yeah, can I can I now find the scissors? Um, ghost flint is here. I'm gonna take the ghost flint, and if I don't get the scissor in time, then uh, we will stick to the ghost flint. None of these really matter. None of these really matter. Uh, another ghost flint, but you know, bad version. Going through these, buying a bunch of bowler hats, flamethrower. Mm, not really. No, not really. No, get another ghost flint. And now we're gonna stick to the ghost flint, or we're gonna find scissors. Scissors is precise at least, but the thing is that it's medical and so it doesn't give us anything. Let's go with the Ghost Flint. Whatever. Might as well go for it. So, give me a sec to find the last one. And then after that, the run is a go. I won't be coming back to the shop at all for all you um, shop haters out there. Which, uh, I mean, it's fair enough. It's fair enough to be a shop hater. This also doesn't fit, really. I think we're gonna go with this void. <laughs> Sift, who doesn't change opinions? Who is this guy here? Oh, Thunder Sword. Nah, not the Thunder Sword. We're gonna go with Sword. I do enjoy the Sword as an idea. So, uh, let's just try to get it. More speed. More of these. Why not? Come on, man. Why did that sh Sword had to be... Maybe a Shield is also very fitting, to be honest. <laughs> I cannot decide. Here we go. And now we're done. This is the build. We're gonna go with two Swords and uh, three Daggers and one Lightning Sword. And, um, yeah, now I just... Yeah, I already have my crazy attack speed, as you can see. I also have everything that I would like to have, which is, you know, the shop cost one. We got all our coupons. And now this run is going to, of course, become a little bit of a meme. What I mean by that, we're gonna now just invest a little bit into melee damage, and then everything else is gonna become coupons. So we get like a million coupons like everybody wants to. Although they don't really stack, although they don't really do anything. We just stick to the memes. As I said, the, the, the shopping part is over. I'm not gonna be shopping anymore. Now we're just gonna be going with whatever the gold chest gives us. And as I said, my life is also, uh, my HP region is never gonna scale and never gonna be good. So it is what it is. 
I will always heal this smidge of amount because of that decision I made in the beginning. It doesn't really matter. We have so much life. It really doesn't matter if we cannot really heal through other means. Uh, now I also want to go a couple of aliens so I can pick up all those things from the ground without needing to actually pick them up. And now we're gonna go everything into duct tapes. Actually, let's get the melee damage so we can slash through some opponents. Ice melee damage skill in the game. We lose damage and speed, but whatever. My damage is actually plummeting. I need percentage damage things, which uh, I guess Vigilant Rings. Let's buy a couple of Vigilant Rings. Those are gonna fix us up real quick next round. And uh, I guess we can go like one more Mammoth, maybe two more Mammoths. And now every, 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 every other thing is going to be invested into good old, good old uh, coupons. Because memes. <laughs> because, and I'm saying memes because of course it doesn't matter. Like coupons don't do anything for us. Let's go with melee damage. Yeah, we're good with it. Let's go. Won't really need buying anything. Let's zoom this out a bit. And uh, yeah, now we're actually doing a bit less damage, but this is gonna get fixed pretty fast. Wait, I have pickup range. What's happening? Our oh, points are not attacking us. That's what's happening. <laughs> Our points are not doing damage to us. Wait, have I made it so that opponents mega spawn? Yes, I have. So uh, this is the build. This is the build. The shop cost zero. Let's go. This is the build. I mean, I'm pretty sure like it feels like I'm a bit condescending. But the thing is that, yeah, the shop cost zero. It is exciting. It is what people wanted to see, right? I'm pretty sure that that's what you want to see. The cost, uh, the shop costing nothing. But at the end of the day, it isn't really something exciting itself, in my opinion. And I do agree that the shopping part is maybe the most boring one. I try to go through it as fast as I can, but there isn't really something to show. It's very simplistic of what I'm going to do in the shop itself. So, um, yeah, and the run itself is also not something exciting. I mean, it's a sword run. It's a sword run, and everything costs you in the shop. But the thing is that the shop isn't exciting. So, it's just the showcase of the madness. That is it. The showcase of the fact that the shop doesn't cost anything. 25,000. Uh, as I said, we're going to continue with those uh, coupons. Everything costs nothing. The click, the thumbnail is also most likely going to be clickbait, as you know, everything is actually costing something, <laughs> which is uh, some money. Let's go movement speed, whatever. Here for armor, and uh, yeah, I don't need to buy anything. How many coupons do we have? We have 82 coupons. Off to a million coupons, we shall go. By the way, look how many rolls I can do. And more specifically, I can do 52 rolls here. Get our bunny. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. And my damage is slowly scaling because uh, of those uh, vigilant rings that, uh, you know, give me what, how much percent damage every round. Let's actually see exactly 12 times 3. That is 46% uh, damage every round. We're not scaling crazily fast. I also have 87 melee damage, so <laughs> we will scale uh, in some kind of capacity for sure. Now, uh, maybe I should invest into a couple more retromission sweetie just to get more range because we don't really have that much range here. If anything, we don't really have range at all. We have about a cycle around us, like if I stay here in the middle and see. Actually, it's not a range issue, it's a damage issue. Now that I'm actually seeing it, it's definitely a damage issue. Because, um, yeah, opponents do not get one shot all the time. That's the thing. Still, we go through this walking, normally lightning shivs and swords and stabs and everything. Now the comments are gonna be like, yeah, actually, I skipped uh, the fighting stage this time. I want to see the shopping stage. And because you skipped the shopping stage, I also will. Oh, got our damage, 37%. Let's get a couple more Vigilant Rings just to do more damage later down the run. Okay, that's enough. And let's continue with the main attraction of today's run, which is a bunch of these uh, coupons and tomorrow i'm gonna do as i said one once again one of those day xyz of requesting uh, that one man i really 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 oh plus range i should not have gone with the plus range whatever oh we are fighting a uh, good old swarm stage which is supposed to be dangerous i don't think it is i uh, end up modders I, I think both modders like told me that uh, the stage is now fixed and it shouldn't really lag so there's that do I have magnet? Can an opponent please hit me so we can magnetize the food? I don't think that's a thing. Okay, I guess we're gonna buy one blood bank so that uh, I get hit every second from something, which is a blood bank, so we can pick up those food choices because I don't want them to be on the map. I think it just uh, puts clutter on the map. Yeah, as you can see, my pickup range is definitely global. I mean, even if it isn't global, it definitely is pretty big enough. But the thing is that opponents don't go. Wow, the lightnings look awesome. The lightnings definitely look awesome, is what I have to say. I love how they look. I don't think they're good, but I love how they look. 
Maybe you guys... Does anybody want to see, to see like, a lightning build? I could do that. A lightning, uh, a lightning sword build and only lightning swords. Let's see what we go with. Uh, let's go with a couple of... Couple of retro hoodies. Okay, that's enough. And now let's go with a bunch of tickets. So that the shop costs even less than it can't go less. As always, I don't understand why the dev has put uh, a cap on it. As if anybody without mod would be able to do this. Uh, I will just skip ahead and try to find a blood bank real quick. This guy always has a blood bank in his shop. Literally impossible for you not to have it. Uh, I don't care about anything, by the way. I just only want the blood bank here, this blood donation. Let's go. Now that we lose one damage every second, now um, we will start picking everything up every second. So that I don't need to care about, you know, clutter on the screen. Because clutter on the screen isn't really good. And also like the game a bit for no reason. So let's just get rid of it with the easiest way possible. Which is by getting harvesting. What's my harvesting now? 2300. Why is the harvesting first while harvesting actually in the stats is last? I guess because it looked cleaner to the dev of the mod. I would assume. That's my only assumption here. I, I cannot possibly know why the dev decided to put the the mod dev decided to put the um, harvesting at the top and i guess because money's here too so it would make sense that it's money and then this here is the saved money so it's money saved money harvesting and then the actual stats that's my assumption of why that is there wait do i have two other this is dodge this is movement speed doesn't dodge look like a running man it's like it's it's a bit weird let's continue with those compounds those coupons I'm gonna have like 500 coupons at the end. <laughs> Not that it matters, but still, it is what it is. Maybe there is some kind of overflow mechanic in action, and then let's get the mental damage. Why not? We're at minus 15 though, but whatever. Movement speed, max life, explosive threat, doing 85 damage. Nope, nope. And let us go. Uh, let us stab everything to death. And now we have 90, no, 46 percent damage. As you can see, my stab is now doing 200, which is pretty crazy to say the least. So uh, yeah. I mean, it is what it is. It's just a stab build. It's a stab build with a bunch of money and with everything in the shop costing zero, but nothing in the shop even mattering. Now, of course, you can say that, but if you could have picked another character that isn't the entrepreneur that could have uh, actually had better items in the shop that would be more fun to buy. Well, at the end of the day, everything is stats anyway. And uh, if you have infinite money, which this stat, this this build makes you generate infinite money anyway, right? Like, uh, if not infinite money, then making the shop cost one means you can buy infinite things. So, what do you think infinite things are? It's, it's stats. Like, uh, the more money you have and the more things you can buy, it's just more stats. I think the uniqueness of these builds comes from the fact that what item I take or what passive I take uh, to the extreme. Like, as I said, tomorrow I'm gonna try to do one of those uh, day X of asking builds. In general, in the next days, we're gonna be doing day X of asking builds, in my opinion. That is the most fun. Where am I going? Where am I going? Where, 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 where? I'm completely lost in my train of thought. Just buy a couple of coupons. Make everything even cheaper. Let's go, guys. Let's go and see how cheaper the shop is going to be now. Is it going to be 12 max life, 5 crit chance, whatever. Uh, 15 attack speed. Wow, it costs everything. Costs one. Insane. And I bought a new panda. Wow, and no blood. Wait, what? Since when can you take more blood nations? Ah, oh, whatever. I don't care. Let us actually continue with the stabby stabby. Of course, there is a good chance that everything is going to lag to death. And then uh, we're not going to be able to play. Hey, look, elites. We're actually fighting elites this time. You know what? This is actually the most exciting part. The fact that I'm not completely everything dies in one hit. And I'm an actual normal run. And we have so many bosses on the screen. Th this is actually exciting me. No joke. The fact that... Look at this. This is the most fun part. The, f the, the fact that the bosses don't just instantly die and just madness is happening all over the screen because I don't have enough damage to slash everything into smithereens right away. Like, this is not normally the case, right? This is not normally the case. Uh, let's stay here in the middle and see how we're gonna do. First of all, look, look what the boss are even doing. X's everywhere. X's everywhere. <laughs> I don't even do remotely enough damage to get rid of all these. I mean, we will definitely start getting some bosses down now. And the moment they go down, the rest is gonna go down. And also the lag inducing element, of course, is the bosses. We lost 500 life. Wow. What? How How weird is it that the most exciting part is that this run is not unique because it's not as busted as the rest. That's weird. And uh, we didn't even kill all the elites. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, you know what? We're going to invest in, into a couple more vigilant rings, to be honest. 
I think we need a, a bit more damage. And uh, I'm also gonna go ahead and say, no, we have enough melee damage. I don't want to invest more. 90 melee damage is already good enough. I'm gonna continue investing into more money gain. More coupons. More nothing that really makes anything. <laughs> Let's go. And the shop costs... Oh, no, we're not in the shop yet. Give me a second. Um, whatever, doesn't really matter. Ah, here we go. The shop costs one again. Let's go. And the rules cost zero. We have completed our turn control of the shop, but we don't want to buy anything from the shop. What a weird interaction. What a weird interaction. Somebody's sending something over my, my, my phone. I have to look at my phone after this. Uh, fight goes off. Tomorrow we're gonna do the Aurora build, man. Tomorrow we're gonna do the JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Now, if you don't know what this is, it, it doesn't really matter. It's going to be the multitasker. We're gonna do the multitasker run tomorrow. It's gonna be Madness Incarnate. You guys are excited about that because I want to have more of a fun, unique meme run in here. And as I've said a bunch of times, comment down below and suggest things that you think are a fun idea or are me or whatever. And uh, if you don't want to comment anything, you can also just go and look at the comments and see somebody that suggests something else. And if you drop a like on them, there is a, such a higher chance that I will look at it and most likely will play, play a run that you have liked, right? Because if somebody suggests an awesome idea and then that comment gets like 50 likes, then I'm more inclined to be like, oh yeah, that's actually a good idea. And then I'm gonna do that. Uh, but for the day, you know, as I said, I'm just, you know, throwing, uh, getting this out of the park, so to speak. Is that a thing that people say? I don't know. Like, uh, getting it out of my lawn? I, I don't know. I guess it's a bucket list. This is a bucket list for a lot of people. The infinite coupons run. Just everything costs nothing. Uh, by nothing, I mean one. And then alongside that, the rules also cost one. So literally nothing even costs anything, right? Because uh, that's the thing. If, uh, if the rules cost nothing and uh, the shop costs nothing... Then nothing costs nothing. I mean, look at the zero, 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 <laughs> and our bunny zero, 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 <laughs> and our bunny. How did it happen? So they stop in bunnies. Wow. This is this is bunny. Yeah. Z no, I didn't buy it. whatever. This is this is bunny. Whoa. Again. This is this is bunny. Yeah, I'm still hitting it. This is this is this is bunny. No, we lost it. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> that's what we're gonna do in the shop now. That's what we're gonna do in the shop now, just for the memes. And just for the memes. Let's see how lucky I can be with fun finding bunny specifically in the shop. Every time we roll through the shop... Oh, you know what? I should play. Lucky Landlord. Do you guys want me to start playing Lucky Landlord? That's an idea. That's an idea. I could play Lucky Landlord. Hmm. You know what? Comment down below and tell me if you want to see me play that. Go join my Discord and also tell me over to my Discord. If I get enough interaction about that, uh, I will assume that you guys want me to see that play that game. Although the game is pretty old-ish, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people have broken that game a million times over already. But uh, why not also break it the Sift style, which is pretty much almost the same thing with the rest, because that game is very straightforward. Um, but yeah, maybe maybe we're gonna do run like that. Maybe, maybe, just maybe. People want to see it, and we're gonna do it, right? And uh, yeah, if anything, I should have... You know, I wanted to play that game back in the beginning when the channel took off. But the thing is that when I, this channel took off, I think Lucky like Land Road was already one or two months into hype. So bigger channels had already covered it. Extremely huge channels too. And uh, it was a bit too late for me to run into the bandwagon. But I think the hype co comes back to that game right now because a huge patch drops or something. So maybe I'm gonna do it. We're gonna see, we're gonna see. Uh, for now, we're gonna go on mental damage. Let's go for range, whatever. 15 luck, who cares? And let's go with money. Da -da 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 -da. Stop. Yeah. Da -da 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 let's stop. No, we lost. Let's go. <laughs> let's go. I only have one attempt to see how deep we can go, and uh, I want to see. Can I? Can I be lucky enough until I roll my uh, money to the ground? I don't think there is any chance whatsoever that that's gonna happen. But we never know, you know. We never know. Honestly, being close up here is more fun than being far away, like I always do. Uh, I, I mean, being far away, I think, is better for when you do something that covers the whole screen. But this build isn't strong enough to cover the whole screen. So with this build, it's fun just being close up. In minus inducing. I'm still waiting for that vanilla patch, man. I'm still waiting for that vanilla patch. Hopefully it's not today. And I would also like to have a line with a dev, so that the dev tells me like, Yo, Sift, I'm about to drop a vanilla patch in two or three days. Because I really, really, really would like to avoid randomly uh, uploading a run. Not uploading, recording a run that's awesome, like this one. And if not awesome, at least much requested, like this one. And um, then, uh, you know, a, a vanilla patch drops, and then for the next five days I play the new vanilla patch, and then <laughs> we go back to modding, and it's like, well, I guess uh, the mod is in an older patch now. Why do I scroll so down? My memory isn't really what it used to be. I guess I'm uh, being automated, completely automated. Uh, oh, by the way, there is a good chance merchandise is incoming one of these days, so keep an eye out for merchandising. Uh, I will, of course, announce it in as many things as I possibly can. 
Uh, let's go with re-rolling. Stop. Uh, I mean, the first one is a freebie. One, da, 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 stop. And we lost. Let's go. <laughs> uh, we completely lost. Can we destroy this guy? Oh, now we actually have DPS. We are actually chewing through the elites. But the elites are coming out faster than I'm chewing through them. So, will I be able to get them in time? This and many more in this episode of Sift Breaks the Game. By the way, is this tune I just sung from somewhere? Because I used to have that tune like for as much as I can remember. So, maybe that tune is from somewhere that I'm not aware of right now. Some kind of TV series. Did it rem remind you of anything that might be the case? What is happening? Uh, excuse me, what is even happening? I mean, I know what's happening. The opponents that uh, spawn more opponents when they die, uh, spawned too many opponents when they died. And now we're like super stuck here. Let's run in big circles to clear out shop. Slash slash. I mean, when I stay in the middle, we don't clear out shop. When I run in big circles, we slash through everything. The eggs are also not really helping. Clock, 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 clock. And wow, we took like a thousand damage. Is there any chance we're gonna lose at the end? I wanna see us lose at the end, you know? Because money isn't everything in this life. There are other things that we should be happy about, like uh, crazy tax rate and insane damage, right? <laughs> As if, like, the parallelism with life in this game isn't really, um, I guess, up to scrutiny. Uh, let's go for it. You know what? I'm gonna play with three lives. Let's see. Da -da 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 stop. Well, one life down. Da -da 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 stop. Yes. Da -da 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 stop. Two lives down, boom, and we lost. Wow. Well, I don't know what happened with my luck. I guess in the beginning it was better. Now it's gone, <laughs> and it's gone. My luck is gone. We are now just a normal guy that can't roll into like this anymore. Wait a minute. If anything, the more I try this thing, the more I try to do the bunny thing, the more it's, it, the more weird it is that previously I succeeded by doing it like what four times in a row, maybe five times in a row. I think it was four times in a row. I think I'm overestimating how lucky I was, uh, or maybe it was actually extremely lucky. We're gonna see. We're gonna see. We're gonna see. I mean, there was also a shopping phase where we just bought like four or five bunnies back to back. Like we rolled once, and there was bunny. We roll again, a bunny again. We roll again, a bunny again. So it is um, mixed, mixed reception, reception, mixed reception about what exactly happened. Continue with the slashing. Uh, by the way, I was also thinking about maybe using ranged weapons, but honestly, this madness here is not really doable with ranged weapons, as far as I'm concerned. Like, I don't think ranged weapons would really do a thing here. And uh, yeah, let's continue. Let's see what we can uh, do. Let's not scroll again to the very bottom. Let's just buy the coupon this time correctly, like we wanted to do in the first place. And uh, you know what? I just realized something. There, uh, There is... There's an option here in Game Busters. Can I reduce wave multiplier duration? Oh, I can make the waves last half as long. You know what? Let's, let's make them half last as long. I want to see. I want to see. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, boom. Nope. One life down. Nope. One life down. Okay. I, I, I'm unable to get that anymore. <laughs> we, we no longer can do that. Oh, this is the final wave. Well, that was a, a wave that I shouldn't have done that. Eh, whatever, doesn't matter. Uh, the, uh, the bosses should theoretically spawn faster than whatever the wave timer is. Right, like if, if 60 bosses spawn in a timely manner here. Yeah, I really, really should not have reduced the timer specifically in this wave. But whatever, we, we got this. We, we got this, I think. Can I, in, I wanna see if I can increase the runner again. Can I increase this again? Is there any chance that that's going to be a thing? Nope, it's not too late. Well, my bad. Whoopsie. Whoopsie. Let's hope we're going to be able to get through these. The one wave that I should not have reduced the timer is the wave I did it. Can I get it? 60 bosses are on the stage. I have 10 seconds to get through them. Um, yeah, I got this guy. 6 seconds. 5, 4. Come on. Got him. No. Ah, yes, I got him. 60 out of 60. Yes, I did it. I needed exactly 40 seconds to beat everything. You see? I actually reduced the timer at the exact correct time. <laughs> I'm good at this. We got 593 coupons, which uh, is the same with getting 20. I mean, with this character specifically, it's the same with getting 15. But whatever, people won't see this. My trick with recycling machines did not work. <laughs> I hoped uh, that we would be gaining 350 times more materials back when I sold them. Seems like the dev has put another hard cap on that. I don't know why the dev has so many hard caps, man. Uh, like, you cannot reduce the spawned enemies to zero, you cannot reduce the prices to zero, you cannot make recycling machines stack enough times. And these are hard caps, very specifically obvious, because in the game, normally, if you don't use mods, you cannot actually pick up more than one recycling machine, right? 
It's a unique item. You cannot really do that. There is no way of doing that. And, uh, I mean, this guy here, the entrepreneur, as you see, says, gains 25% more materials from recycling items. And this guy is the only one that has that. So, even if you pick baseline, the best character for selling items, which is this guy, 25% more money gained, and you have recycling machine, which is 35% more money gained, the maximum you can get is 70. So, why is there a hard cap of 100? That's what I don't get. Like, why is there actually, why did the dev go ahead and say, you know what? People should not be able to sell their items for what they buy, uh, more than what they buy them from. Because then they will get infinite money. Yeah, but the thing is that with the game itself, like with what you have are given in the game itself, you cannot actually go more than 100. So I, I really don't get it. Uh, it's like he tried to make sure that some mods are not able to do what some mods want to do. I, I don't know. And the same goes with, once again, the coupons. Like, this guy is the guy that finds the shot, the items the cheapest, 25% less. And then you can buy up to 5 coupons the max, another 25% less. So 50% minus price is the maximum you can get in this game, no matter what you do, unless you mod it. But when you mod it, then you actually find a cap of the items can only be sold for one. So, uh, I, I, I really don't know. And the thing is, it's not specifically the number one is that issue, right? Because there is a there is a mechanic here with the bunnies that makes the rules cost zero. So, why shouldn't the prices also go to zero? Uh, you know, um, anyway, that is going to be it for today. Once again, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, drop a like, subscribe to the channel. If you want to see more, subscribe too. Don't forget to comment down below a crazy idea or at least drop a like and a crazy idea you'll enjoy. So, maybe I uh, take uh, a bit more of a... Like, not a bit of a... So that I see it in a brighter light and I actually decide to do so. Anyway, I hope you guys are very much happy about the, specifically the coupon one that was so much requested. I'm really saying that as if I'm condescending, but I'm not trying to be condescending. I, I just already knew that it isn't something crazy, right? Because I always chase down the crazy ideas, I always chase down the fun ideas, but at the end of the day, it isn't always about me. Sometimes, you know, people just want to see, I mean, you guys just want to see something. And at the end of the day, I also wanted to see this, like I want to see it for myself. It's just a bit, a bit, a bit disappointing that at the end of the day, it wasn't something exciting. But say, if you could have made it something exciting. I mean, how? <laughs> uh, tell me below how. <laughs> you should be more excited. When you say, oh, look at the shop! <laughs> uh, I don't know why I'm becoming crazy at the end of this video. <laughs> anyway, that is going to be it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Once again, thanks for watching. And see you guys around.